Hi guys, welcome to another video for Jewel For Real. This video is going to be about my daughter's second birthday. And as you can see behind me, it's a sunshine party. I just, I don't know what it was, I just think I wanted, after a long winter, because it is April, if I wanted to be reminded of summer and everything's sunny, but I chose the sunshine theme and I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna take you on a tour of all the decorations I did and hopefully it will give you some ideas if you decide on the sunshine birthday theme. It is really cute. For starters, I have, I got the Sunshine Care Bear for her birthday, but I'm using it as decoration as well. So this is the emoji pillow I got at Walmart, and it has the sunglasses, and I thought that went with the sunshine theme. And I got these little sunbursts um, from Amazon in yellow, and they look very pretty up on, as decoration as part of the sun. sun. And then I used yellow and orange, streamers to go across the window like little rays. You'll notice here I have a banner, happy birthday. I made this completely myself. This is actually um, tangled, the tangled sunburst um, from a, for a tangled party on Pinterest. And I printed it out free. I cut a little bit off, trimmed a little bit off so that it wasn't, it was a square. And then I added my own letters in the middle myself with magic with a marker so it says happy birthday and then you'll notice right in the middle between happy and birthday i added you are my sunshine you are my sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray i got that as a free printable on pinterest as well and printed that out and i just all i did was hole punch and use twine two hole punches on either side and used twine to go through it and it worked out nice it was my very own homemade banner then you'll notice, oh, and then you'll notice here too, I use sprinkles of, I use this for as a free printable on Pinterest. And it has a bunch of large, medium, and little ones. And I sprinkled them across the window. You'll notice the um, table, the tabletop. I have, what, he, what I got here is I got this at Walmart, this smiley face. Um, and I glued um, colored clothespins to it to make it look like a sun. And I hung it from the chandelier in the middle. And then you'll notice here, I hung from each of the light fixtures um, more of these sun sunbursts, these tangled sunbursts. Um, and I had my daughter cut them out for me. So, and I printed 12 pictures because there's six light fixtures. I printed 12 pictures for either side of each sunburst. So each one that's hanging here has a special memory, a special picture of my daughter. And you'll notice the table. I have an orange, an orange tablecloth that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I got these at Target. Aren't they very pretty? I got these in the three to one dollar section at Target, and these were three dollars. They weren't a dollar. But I thought that they were very pretty and would make a good table thing because I thought, you know, they'd look a little bit like sunbursts. And I have lollipops in one, pretzel sticks in the other. And then I got for this main one, I got um, these little flowers from Joanne Fabrics. Put them in it, and I had my daughter make these. Aren't they cute, guys? It's kebab sticks. And on the kebab sticks, I have pointed suns with little faces in the middle. And like I said, I had my daughter do that. She enjoyed that project. She made the both of these. I thought they turned out cute. She added little eyeballs, used Sharpie marker for the mouth. She also, um, you know, traced it and made, I had orange on one side, yellow on the other. And she used the foam, like the foam pe um, strips that you can get at the Dollar Tree. It's like a pack of foam strips in every color. It includes like quite a bit of them. And she used that to make those. And then you'll notice 
my table here. This is actually my bar area where I have the food. You'll notice these, I used yellow poster board to make these and I traced out a circle. And then after I traced out the circle, I added the points, then cut it out, used the other side where it didn't have all the pen marks facing everybody. And then these are just little um, tissue paper for gifts. Yellow tissue paper, I cut them into strips, crinkled them up with my fingers, and just used a hot glue gun to glue pieces. The, the strips that were crinkled all over it. And I thought it looked really cute, guys. What do you think? And then I used an orange face that I had to, to display more of these things my daughter made. She made four of them. So I thought, that was cute, and right here I used um, a canvas that I got at Joanne Fabrics. And I got this idea actually from Pinterest, but I kind of adapted it to my own to do it myself. I added, um, you do this, you paint the sun here in the corner, and then you use your child's handprints to make the rays of the sun. And then I had my kids paint these, these are like um, wooden letters and I had them paint them pink. And after they dried, I hot glued them onto the canvas. It's gonna be something that's a keepsake for my family um, for years to come to remember her sunshine party since it's on a special canvas with her handprints. Then you'll notice right here, I called it sunrise, but it's pineapples cut up with clementine pieces all around it to kind of look like the sun. Then you'll notice here, I like uh, taped another one of these starbursts from Tangled, like the same as what's on my banner right there. And I glued a picture, I mean, I taped a picture of uh, Kaliana to it. I taped that to a frame that I had. So this you'll notice I call this sun rays. I used chips in the middle and I put little Cheetos all around it to look like rays of the sun. So I thought, it looks like the sun. I thought it would it turned out good. And you'll notice here I have in drink in drink up the sunshine. And I'm going to be putting lemonade in this. It's not in there yet, but I have um, lemonade that I will be pouring in this drink up the sunshine. Just a bunch of yellow cups and yellow plates. And I have, you know, my yellow forks in and stuff in here. And I put a sign on it that says dig into the sunshine. I have just another one of those sunbursts on the other side that I explained that I made. And if you back up, this is what it looks like. I added streamers and I added a Dollar Tree orange tablecloth at, to the bar area and hung, hung it down. And this is just a paper plate that I bought at, on Amazon. And I just taped a paper plate to the middle. I don't use the decorated paper plates for ever for like eating because they're too expensive, I just use solid colored paper plates. But what I will do is use the decorated, buy, buy like one pack of the decorated paper plates and use them for decoration. And it's a cheap way to decorate your house. You'll notice another one of these sunbursts, the same as right here. And I hung it from my column and I used colored clothespins in only used the pink, red, and yellow ones to clip to it and so it looked more like a sunburst. I have those attached to each of the columns. Then you'll notice I used more of those decorate, decorative paper plates, the sun, sunshines, to add to twine. I used hole punches, and I actually too like cut some strips in there to look more like sunshiny. And I just attached that with twine along here and I attached some balloons to the twine as well. Um, I got these dotted balloons from Amazon. There it is, there's some more of the sunburst and I added pink and yellow streamers down the column. And see, there's more of the twine with the sunburst, I mean the sunshine plates and the balloons attached to the twine. You'll notice over here, this is where she's gonna be opening up her gifts. I printed this out on, on Pinterest as a free printable. Um, you are my sunshine. You can get lots of free printables on Pinterest if you just go on Pinterest and type in whatever category you want to find. But type in, like if you're doing a sunshine party, type in sunshine free printable. And a lot of things will come up. 
Or if you're doing a Lego party, type in Lego free printable, Lego birthday free printable. So that's how I find a lot of my decorations so that I don't have to spend a lot of money. And I did more of these sunbursts, but I did them smaller than the ones over by the bar. I just made them smaller. I cut them out with the poster, leftover poster board and crinkled the tissue paper up in pieces and hot glued them, like I said, to here. And added red, um, yellow, pink, and orange streamers going down. And right above her chair where she's going to open up the gifts, I um, had this free printable right above here too. And then you'll notice over here I have the cake display. And I got this idea from Pinterest actually, but I think it actually turned out better than the one I saw on Pinterest. I added a big circle cake. I actually had to do two batches of cake, um, cake mix. I added one big circle, and then I did one medium circle. And I added icing to the, uh, to the bottom one, then added the medium size cake to the top. And then I trimmed off like the, the edges of the medium cake to make it more rounded. I trimmed it with a knife and then I um, added the yellow icing on top and I did it to till I became more of a curve, till it became more rounded. And then I added a pair of her sunglasses to the top and I used um, pink icing to make the mouth and the freckles and I used ice cream cones. These are actually ice cream cones, guys, that I used and my daughter Talia dipped them in yellow, uh, Wilton yellow melting chips. Um, we melted them and dipped the cones into the melt and then put them in the fridge to, to make them harden. So we hardened them in the fridge and I, did, I made sure that I matched the icing. I added the icing I, for the cake. I added mostly yellow with a tinge of orange to it so it would match the melting chips that we got from Walmart. So I thought it turned out cute and to keep the cones like staying up because they're kind of like elevated as you can see. So to keep them staying up, I added marshmallows around it and I thought then it looks like a cloud, like the sun is appearing out from the cloud. I added some books around here that go with the theme. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. You are my sunshine. And the party favors are actually um, little sunglasses. And then you'll notice right here, I added a free principle that I also got from Pinterest. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. And that's so true of our little Kellyanna. That's a picture of Kellyanna last year for her first birthday. I wanted everybody to be reminded about what it was like last year when she was one and how quickly she grew to be two. I just taped it all up to frames. I actually already had these frames up. There's other family pictures behind them. And I just put these in there instead for the party and added orange and yellow streamers to look like sunbursts all around it. And you'll notice I actually made it 3D. See how that's coming out into the ceiling? And that's coming out into the, onto the buffet. So I did that to make it look more 3D. Here I made clouds. I love these things, they are so cool. I'll show you some more over here. There's more clouds and more. I have different poofs hanging around. I did the poofs. I got the idea from Pinterest, but I kind of redid it because I didn't like how it was coming out from some of the products they told me to use. So what I decided to use was poster board and I cut poster board. I like kind of traced a cloud, cut it out and then used polyester like for pillow filling. You know, the kind that you use for pillow filling or to fill stuffed animals with. I used that. Um, and just took pieces of it and hot glued it to the poster board. And then hole punched at the top, um, a hole, I did a hole punch and connected twine to it to hang from the ceiling. I, you can see right here how I did it. I have a little clip. So as you can see, that's what I you did to make the cloud and it was pretty, it was pretty nice. I, I think it came out really cute and I will do it again. So you could also do this for a rainbow party plain party, any kind of like theme like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my tour of my sunshine party and 
that you enjoyed it, gave you some ideas, because I know the sunshine theme is trendy right now, and everybody seems to like it, and I think it's a really cute theme, and I love the bright colors, and I know other people love bright colors. And you'll notice that I have my daughter, here she is, Miss Kelliana herself, for her second birthday. And I noticed, you'll notice that I got her outfit, it's a sunshine outfit, on Etsy. And it was only like about $25 for the dress and the hair bow. I can have some of the links below. Um, some of the links below of like uh, in the description. There she is. See, she has a little sun sunshine on her little dress and a sunshine bow in her hair. Everybody had to, even though I didn't buy the other kids' outfits specifically for the party, everybody had to make sure they matched the party theme and had yellow. There's Cohen in his yellow, my other son, and there's my other son in yellow. <laughs> I also, actually too got this um, chalk, chalk plaque at Target in the uh, one to three dollar section, but I think it was actually five dollars because now they're putting five dollar stuff there. I'm going to use it on each of the kids' birthday parties from now on to hang from the front door. I used chalk to write Kelly on a second birthday on the front door along with some clouds and suns. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of my daughter's sunshine second birthday and you got some good ideas from it. Until next time guys, um, fly high, dream big. Thanks again guys.